I think a lot of action games take themselves really seriously and it's just sort of save the world, okay, I'm coming. And we're all meant to be like, oh yeah. Ruby is an anti-hero. She's doing it for herself. She's not trying to save the world, stop aliens. She's in it for the money. She's in it for the vengeance. That's Ruby. She's gotta get dirty, she's gotta get bloody, and things do get bloody in our game. <laughs> We have this really nice mix of form and, and the function, style and substance. My name is Patrick Forche, I'm the creative director on WET. It's gratifying to go to a, a new location and see how beautiful it is. It's important that you believe in it, and yet it's important that it lends itself well to the kind of action that we're targeting. A lot of effort had to be put into the environment to make it usable. On this wall you have to make a wall run. And beyond just usable, it had to look great, but also give the player information. The battle arenas are much more open, so they're, they're kind of like mini skate parks, actually. Okay, there's a pole there, it leads to this ledge, it leads to this zip line. I can read it, I can concentrate on execution. How am I going to use that to create this really spectacular scene? That's where the slow-mo comes in as well. Uh, slow-mo is triggered automatically as soon as you do acrobatics in the game. Eventually you meet bigger and bigger packs of enemies and you need that slow-mo to really assess the danger, to assess who your targets should be, have time to chain your acrobatics and start picking off your targets. During production we knew that we wanted to have some sort of vehicle sequence in the game so we came up with this concept that we call car hopping where Ruby is surfing along the top of a car on a high-speed chase along the highway. And at various points, Ruby needs to jump from car to car or run along the side of a semi, all the while shooting at enemies and cars up ahead of her. In everything we tried to do, we really tried to infuse the style. And so we went to our artists, we kind of had this concept for a crazy sequence. They went hog wild and created this really beautiful, visually spectacular sequence. That's what Rage Mode is. Ruby becomes berserked, she gets blood in her eyes, she's incensed. And so she loses her mind and just starts ripping through the enemies. Everything turns so heightened and amplified, the endorphins and the insanity and the color and the blood. Ruby just goes on a rampage and she just kills everything inside because it's like literally Ruby seeing red and just destroying and annihilating everything. People will have a kick ass time getting into her and being her and, and having that sort of vengeance, fury, and release. 